Hi, my name is Joel from Bright Culture. Uh, let's take a look at this energetics question over here, okay? So, uh, step by step again. So, look at the first part, uh, right? Equation for the standard and W change of formation of ammonia, right? So, uh, please take note. So, it's written here that the Enthalpy change, the standard enthalpy change of formation of ammonia gas is minus 46 kilojoules per mole. So let's write out that equation first. Huh? So um, formation, remember, so it's N2 standard condition plus H2 standard condition gives you ammonia gas. Okay? And then we need to balance. So this one, remember the video that I've taught you before, uh, taught you this concept. This is one mole. Okay, so NH3 is uh, one mole because they are forming one mole of that from its element. So we balance this accordingly. So we put a 3 over 2, right? And we put a half. Okay, and this is minus 46 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so remember after you are done, always take it so we know that that is complete right the next one standard enthalpy change changes of atomization of nitrogen and hydrogen remember standard enthalpy change of atomization means you are forming one more of gaseous atom okay so for example for nitrogen it's actually uh, n2 gas one more of gaseous atom and then we put a half Okay, and this is uh, plus 497, and then for hydrogen, put a half, right, this is H gas, and this is plus 218, okay. So remember the definition of a standard and object atomization is to form one mole of gaseous atom from its constituent elements in the standard state, right? So we are done with this and this. No more information. So we just work with these three equations and solve this question, okay? So um, take note. Let's take a look at the question. They ask you to join in the energy level diagram, right? Okay, energy level diagram. So normally what we do is that we will draw this axis here. Okay, energy, right? Okay, and then because there are elements, so we are able to put a zero mark here, elements, so we indicate the elements are N2, gas, and H2 gas, because these are elements, elements, they are at zero energy, okay, because they exist themselves, okay. So let's put in the values, right? So you notice the second one, N2, half N2 to N, okay? So half N2 to N, it's plus 497, correct? And of course, uh, before we continue, let's look at the mission. The mission, we are actually looking at the bond energy of the NH bond, okay? The NH bond, bond energy, okay? So now what happens is that um, we can put in the values, and then, because over here, the main equation, right, there is a half N2. Okay, so we put a half N2, and we put a 3 over 2H2 gas, right? And then we go down 46, right? We go down 46 to get your NH3 gas. This is minus 46, okay? And then... Um, what we do is that we incorporate the other two equations. So first one done, we take it. So the other equation is that half N2 becomes N. Okay, so we squeeze it here. This will be um, plus 497. This will become N gas. Okay, and we copy this because not involved yet. Done. And then we go up again, okay, we go up again to, uh, because 3H2, so eventually N gas plus 3H gas. So remember this part, we need to multiply by 3, right, okay, and then 
finally, okay, let's extend the line. Uh, we know that, okay, we are done with this. They want you to find the NH bond energy, right? Okay, ending soon already, uh, bear with me. So, by the way, NH3, it's like that. Right? So, there are three NH bonds, okay? So, what happens is that if we were to bring this arrow up, this one will be three bond energy of and H, right? Okay, then we do Hess's law. Remember, clockwise equals to anti clockwise, right? So, clockwise equals to anti clockwise. So, for this case, the working will be um, plus 497 plus 3218. Okay, this is your anti clockwise, right? This part here, anti clockwise equals sorry your clockwise equals to your anti-clockwise here which is equals to minus 46 plus 3 be and you solve for be that's all okay so this is an example of an energy level diagram it's different from energy cycle the only difference is that this one over here if it's plus you got to point up minus point down for energy cycle easier because plus and minus you just draw the arrows accordingly okay so please take note and practice okay maybe what you can do after you're looking through this video you restart do the question and see whether is, is it the same diagram as mine if it's correct good well done okay goodbye